Hello, look at this art. What do you see? Do you recognize the person in this art? How do you think the artist feels about this person? What do you see that makes you think that? Look around at all the details, the background, the colors, the shapes, and all of the little details. What do you know about art that looks like this? This is collage. And usually with collage, we use scissors and glue. If I want to make a collage about someone, I have to find a picture of them and cut it out very carefully. If I am making a collage, I have to find the papers and the colors I want. If I find little features like flowers and I want to add more than one, I have to have more than one pictures of a flower. With my glue, I glue around the outside edge. I press it where I would like it to be on my paper and then I massage the paper down so that it sticks really nice and flat. What if I told you you can also make a collage on the computer? This is called digital collage and it can be really fun too. You can change the sizes of things you are collaging and make copies and doubles. So the artist who made the first image also made this one and this one. What do you see that is similar between all of those images? The name of this artist is Brubes. He gave himself this name and he is currently working out of San Francisco, California. He uses his art to elevate champions of the black and LGBTQ community. He's a photographer and a collage artist. He uses iPad and iPhone to take pictures and make a digital collage. What is his inspiration? Well, he grew up Catholic and Mexican first generation and was always surrounded by religious iconography, meaning artwork like this that might show a human figure in the middle that we can really appreciate with the arrangement of the outside of the picture. It's called a retablo. To make some art like Brubes, you can find some paper materials to make a paper collage, or you can use slides like the ones in Seesaw to create a digital collage. In Seesaw, you can add a response to your assignment or in Google, you can open a new slideshow. In this assignment, the teacher has put some little collage elements around. You can press the hand tool, which lets you click on something and move it around. You can make other changes. In Seesaw, you can press the three dots on the left and change the background color. You can also do this in other slides programs. Here I'm choosing a bright magenta. In this seesaw assignment, there are pictures we can use. You can click on a picture that you would like to copy from one of the slides. Here I've selected Cesar Chavez and I can see his square. I push control and C at the same time. That will make a copy of the picture. Now I will go to the other pink slide by pushing the button on the right hand side. While in the new slide, I can press control V. And I will see his picture up here. It's hiding and very tiny. So that again is control C at the same time to copy and control V to paste. I can use one of the white dots on the corner to pull his picture to become larger. I can use the three dots menu to insert a shape. I can click on the shape and change its color. I can use the corner to change the size of the shape. 
I can press the three dots menu and change the order that the shape is in. I'm sending it to the back so it can be behind the image of Cesar Chavez. You can move your different parts of your collage around so that you can grab things and take them where you want them. When I do not need a slide anymore, I can click that slide over on the right, click three dots and delete that slide. That way I'm just keeping the artwork that I want to keep. It's the same with any extra elements you don't want in your art. You can click on them and delete them. There's a three dot menu underneath that helps you put it in the trash. If you are an older student, like in third, fourth, fifth grade, you can go online and search for pictures that you want to use and you can make them have no background. So I just found this awesome picture and am saving it to my computer. Now that I have downloaded this picture onto my computer, I can go to another website called remove.bg slash upload. I will press the blue button to upload my image of Amanda Gorman and it will begin to remove the background. There it is. The original is there and then the one that has been made into a sticker is there. I will press the little blue download button. That helps me get now also a picture of Amanda Gorman with no background. Then go back to Seesaw or your slides and in Seesaw on the left, there's the Cambrin symbol, press upload. And I'm gonna find that new picture of Amanda Gorman with the background removed and open it to put it into my slide. That worked perfectly. And you can use an image search to look for more things to put in your collage. You'll just need to remove the background of whatever you want to use for your collage. If you are a younger student, you do not need to try this. But if you're an older student, I'd love for you to find your own images. Here you can see what happens if I get the wrong image into the slideshow. It has a background. It's still a square. But if I get the right image, it is a PNG file and it will work just like a sticker. No matter how you do it, I hope you have tons of fun while you create your collage digitally or in real life and share it with as many people as you can.